Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ruslan. I'm a student of Business Information Systems in Berlin and I had this really amazing questions from one of our subscribers who asked me, hey, what type of working fields can you find if you have the interest to work as a working student and if you already studied business information systems so i think this is like a really amazing question and i really try my best to help you out to give you like a good overview one of the fields is definitely the it industry what it industry really means i'm gonna explain later the second industry you're gonna might face is human resources the third one is finance this is the industry where i'm currently working and the fourth industry is something in the direction of sales supply management so first let's start with the it industries they are also like hundreds thousands other companies who are definitely much smaller who are only focused on the software solutions and those companies are you have to be a little bit take care of them uh, be careful because they sometimes ask too much of knowledge which you don't have because you are a working student you are someone who learns how to program you are someone who is probably in the same position like I am I'm currently in my third semester at the beginning of my third semester so I can't bring this big knowledge to the table the company expects and this is a little bit the problem when you try to find a good job as a developer because they sometimes ask too much but you have to understand that not every programming language, not every technology they ask you, not everything you have to know and if it's a good company and if they have a good mentoring system for you as a developer this is definitely a good benefit to go to those companies because they're gonna teach you how to work it and the good thing is you not only earn money but you also learn how they work and this is good for your cover letter this is good for you for the future because if you apply for bigger companies if you want to have higher um, salaries you already have this knowledge and in this time you not only learn but you also get money so you probably don't feel confident to apply for these positions because you're gonna have the thought mm, I'm probably not good enough to be a software developer in this company because they ask too much expertise they ask too much knowledge um, they ask too much for, they ask too much for work experience which is in the most cases not true because what those companies actually try to communicate is that they are looking for the ideal software developer which in the most cases doesn't exist they are several programming languages in the world you can't know them. The real learning starts after the university and not during the university. Second industry, human resources. This is not something I have to explain for you definitely. So for example, there are also bigger companies, also uh, one of the big four IT consultancies like Capgemini. If you have the interest to use your business information systems degree to work in the human resources field, you can also apply for bigger companies. And of course, in comparison to a software development, they usually don't ask too much um, knowledge when it comes to technology let's call it like this so you usually need to be somebody who is organized you need somebody who has the uh, experience or like the interest to bring excel on the table the knowledge you know you know how excel works you know how word works you know how powerpoint works and if you already study business information systems this is the kind of knowledge which is required you will make it like this let's go to the third industry this is finance and finance like i said before this is the industry where i'm currently working and you have to understand that the finance is like a huge sector it's a huge segment so you're gonna have I'm gonna call them like smaller sub industries so one of the sub industries could be for example controlling and the reason why you should probably go into controlling is if you have the interest into finance you will definitely learn in your studies of business information systems about finance this is a model you have to take this is a course you have to pass and you already have the knowledge which you can bring on the, ta on the table when you apply for the company who is looking for someone who has to work in controlling what are the requirements for controlling you have to be someone who has good c communication skills you have to be someone who is organized you have to be someone who has strong analytical skills 
and of course good mathematical skills which you can also definitely show because during your studies you're gonna have business uh, mathematics is also a course you have to pass so if you have good marks you don't you don't need the best marks because from my own experience I had several interviews and right now nobody even asked me about the marks I don't even think somebody cares about the marks but this is something you have to do for yourself so be motivated learn about business mathematics as good as possible you're gonna definitely have a great time when you go into controlling so I'm currently working in a company which is focused on investing so how to get a job at investing well it's a little bit difficult to explain if you want to apply to this working field if you're really interested I can make several videos about this topic because it's a little it needs a little bit more time to explain it but if you're interested it's gonna be more difficult than probably to apply as a software developer or in human resources so the last industry is supply management sales for example kpmg is also looking for students who have the knowledge in business information systems who can apply there and so those company is looking for someone who can manage certain processes like in purchasing products sales finance and compliance so now you ask yourself what kind of requirements do i need for this type of job for example knowledge in sql also SAP systems. SAP systems for example in Germany is one of the most common management system bigger companies use and they are also the possibilities during your studies to take a course into SAP systems which I highly recommend you because SAP systems most times are required when you apply for bigger companies. You don't need to be an expert you also don't need to be like an SAP system developer, let's call it like this, but at least you should be someone who has heard what SAP is. You should be at least someone who knows for what kind of use SAP systems are needed. And you should also be someone who communicates, hey, I'm interested into SAP systems. I want to learn how it works because I want to help you to organize certain things. If you have seen this video to this point right now, you probably have enjoyed. So, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching. In German, we say Dankeschön. We're gonna see you in the next video. Peace.